Okay, ladies and gentlemen, so here is number four for the midterm. And it asks, for the transformations below, use different colors for each image or each triangle. So we'll do that, okay? So the first thing we've got to do is graph triangle ABC, where A is at 2, comma 1, B is at 5, comma, negative 1, and C is at negative 1, comma, negative 2. So I'm going to do that right now. So here's my triangle, triangle A, B, C. Uh, this is 2, 1. This is 4. 5, negative 1, and this is negative 1, negative 2. Okay, so now we have to rotate triangle ABC 270 degrees, 70 degrees counterclockwise about the origin to create triangle A prime, B prime, C prime. So I'm going to take this entire coordinate grid. Oh, and the first thing I should do is I should label this the y-axis, and I should label this the x-axis. So now what I'm going to do is first I'm going to rotate this 90 degrees counterclockwise so you can see what that looks like. Okay, so that's a 90 degree. This right here, oops. Sorry about that, ladies and gentlemen. This right here is a 90 degree rotation counterclockwise, so going this way against the clock, right? So that's 90 degrees. Let's go 180. So here we have 180 degrees now. That means it's completely upside down, right? Let's go 270, one more 90 degree counterclockwise turn. So here we are, now that has been turned or rotate it counterclockwise 270 degrees. And my triangle is gonna look something like this, but I'm gonna to have to actually put it here, right? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna label each one of these new coordinates, right? So I'm gonna get A prime, but A prime is not gonna look like it's at one and negative two. So let me label that real fast. And I'm gonna do it in a different color. So A prime, looks like it should be at 1 at negative 2. So that this looks like 1, negative 2. B prime looks like it would be at negative 1 and negative 5. So B prime would be at negative 1 and negative 5. C prime looks like it would be at negative 2 positive 1, so C prime would be at negative 2, positive 1. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take these coordinates here, and I'm going to graph them right here, and that should give me my rotation. So I'm going to do that right now. So my rotated triangle should look like this. Right? Here's A prime, B prime, and C prime. Okay. That was A prime, B prime, C prime. That's my rotation. Okay, so that's part B. Part C, now I have to reflect the triangle A prime, B prime, C prime across the line Y equals 2 to create triangle A double prime, B double prime, C double prime. So Y equals 2. Well, first of all, let's see which triangle I'm, I'm, I'm reflecting. Am I reflecting the black triangle here or the red triangle? Well, it tells me to reflect triangle A prime, B prime, C prime, which means I'm reflecting the red triangle. That's A prime, B prime, C prime. That's why, it, that's why it really helps to label every single point that you are graphing. So I'm going to reflect this red triangle across line Y equals 2. Well, Y equals 2 would be somewhere on this Y axis, and Y equals 2 will be right here. If I have to draw a line here, the line is going to have to be horizontal because it's going to have to go through y equals 2, just like that. So my line should look something like this. Here's my line of reflection right here. This is the line at y equals 2. If you drew the line here, that would be x equals 2 because it would be crossing the x-axis at 2. So here's y equals 2. Let me label that really fast. So here we have y equals 2. 
Now I have to reflect this one across this line. So this red triangle across that line. The first thing I notice is that C prime is one square away from the reflecting line. So C double prime has to be right here, one square away as well. And I'm going to do that in a different color. So I'm going to do that in green. So C double prime should be right on there. All right, let's look at B prime. So if I look at B prime, B prime is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven squares away from the reflecting line. So I got to go seven squares on the other side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven squares away would be right over here. And this is where B double prime should be. Okay, now what about a prime, how far was it away from the line of reflection? Let's see, one square, two squares, three squares, four squares. So on the other side, I got to go one, two, three, four, and A double prime should be right here. Okay, so here's my reflected triangle. Let me get that reflection going. And here we have... A double prime, B double prime, C double prime, reflected across Y equals 2 from A prime, B prime, C prime. So here is part C. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, you guys know what to do now. Now it's time to go to your CPR to get rid of the notes, put them away, and try to do this all over again on your own. I hope this video helped, ladies and gentlemen. I'll see you on the next video. Make sure you click like and subscribe to the channel. See you on the next one.